Good afternoon, Chuck Lindbergh, Rockin' PRS, um, with a special two for this weekend, two episodes. I um, want to do a little something. North Carolina is becoming quite the alcohol production state, wine, beer, and now liquor. Um, and that's a big story for another day. But what I want to focus on today was something I stumbled upon. Um, uh, it's called Seven Jars Vodka. And uh, the guy behind it is produced in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I grew up. And the guy behind it is a man named Mr. Frank Radcliffe. And I'm not going to go into the whole story with him. Uh, uh, sevenjars.com is the website. And I would encourage you to read it because it's a really cool story. Um, but this, basically, uh, this vodka is one of Frank Radcliffe's recipes that he actually buried in seven, seven mason jars on his property to keep it for posterity. But anyway, read the story. What I want to do today is I want to do a little, this is not which one's better, but a compare and contrast of, uh, of, of both Frank Radcliffe's vodka and the venerable super premium Grey Goose that I happen to like very well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. In this glass right here we're going to put um, a little bit of Grey Goose in there. There's a little bit left. Yeah, that'll be good. Working our way down there. Now in this one we got seven jars of vodka distilled in Charlotte, North Carolina. See, that's the dapper Frank Radcliffe right there. Really interesting story. You need to read it. He was, must have been a pretty cool cat for his day. But we're going to pour a little bit of that in this glass. And now let's try them. Let's see what we got. All right. First of all, the control is um, one of my favorites of all time, Grey Goose. Yep. That's Grey Goose. Mm. Really nice, really smooth. Made with wheat. I don't exactly know what Frank's is made from, but we'll find out. This is a dry, but you can tell, you can taste the, the wheat in it. Fairly smooth. Slight burn, but in a good way. Mmm. Grey Goose. Mmm. Really good vodka. Let me also say this real quick. When you're dealing with really ultra premium vodkas, in my opinion, let's not bother mixing it. You know, use the cheaper vodkas as the mixer. Let's enjoy this product as it was intended. Now, what we've been waiting for. Frank Radcliffe's Seven Jars Vodka. Okay. I'd be willing to bet there's some corn in here. Wow. Very, very smooth. Hardly any burn at all. None. This is amazing. And you, and you saw this. This is straight vodka here. Perhaps slightly sweeter than Grey Goose. Doesn't have that what I call wheat flavor to it. I don't know what they, you know, I, I haven't figured out what they've got going as far as what they fermented to make this. Wow. I mean, goes down like ice water. I mean, really extremely smooth. I'd have to say um, Frank Radcliffe's is definitely probably the smoothest vodka I've ever had. Literally goes down like ice water. I mean, it, it's brilliant. Really nice. Um, let's go back to the Grey Goose here. Grey, Grey Goose seems to have a little more body to it. Again, a slight, that burn that we've all kind of, it's slight, not in a bad way. Mm. But definitely has that kind of what I attribute to wheat flavor. A little drier. And let's go back to Frank's. 
man, I, I'm serious. That's just, that has got to be the smoothest vodka I've ever. And you saw that. I mean, even though there's an ice cube in there, it didn't, wasn't allowed to really mellow at all. And right out of that, you could probably do shots of this and not even feel it. Wow. So there you have it, folks. Um, compare and contrast Grey Goose and Frank Radcliffe's. Um, I uh, don't really like one better than the other. I think they're both really great vodkas. Um, Frank's was $21 uh, a fifth. Grey Goose is what, 29 a fifth around here? I, you know. So you, you decide. Uh, but the main thing, and I'm getting on five minutes here. The main thing is remember, if you get it in your area or you're here from North Carolina, give it a, give it a shot, seven jars, man. Really impressed by this. If you want a really smooth vodka, I'd recommend Old Frank. He doesn't good. Anyway, that's Rockin' PRS, Chuck Lindbergh. Peace. Have a great week, guys.